Hey guys, we are back for another video and we are just about to leave for our big brand trip. The brand being the brand that I own, Quench Bear Soap. We're gonna be taking our products to a beautiful cabin in a town called Gold Bar. And hopefully the beautiful mountains and the scenery that's there will provide the perfect backdrop for my products and give the vibe that I'm looking for that I can't necessarily capture here. So hopefully you guys have fun with us. We're gonna take you along and yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to be bringing with me on this trip. I'm gonna to be taking tons of photos and filming a lot of content. So I'm gonna be bringing a tripod with me and also this phone mount with me as well. I'm bringing some of my products, of course, the stars of the show, the talent, if you will. <laughs> I'm also going to be bringing this camera, the DJI Pocket 3. And this is the perfect compact little guy that films really great quality footage. And I can just take it along with me even on some hikes that Kayla and I plan on going on. So that's coming with me as well as a really nice camera for product photography. And I'm debating on bringing um, my other film camera. Oh, Sony 6400. I think I'll just bring it anyways. It's better to bring it and not need it than to be there and be like, oh man, I wish I had brought that camera. <laughs> yes, the purpose of this trip is for my products and for my business, but Kayla and I also want to take the opportunity to just enjoy some time away. We're going to be bringing our dogs with us. So that's going to be just a really, really good time, I think. I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the two houses that we saw. Obviously one was a complete no no matter how much I really like the idea of living in an old craftsman style uh, cottagey type house with a separate studio that was right there. There were just too many problems with the property that if we had gone through with it, I probably would have been moving again in a year, which is what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> As for the other house, we did put in an offer on that house and we were in competition with another offer, but because we had the contingency that we had to sell this house first, that um, that seller did not like that. So they didn't go with us, but interestingly, they also didn't go with the competitor, competitor, competitor? With the other buyers. They went with no buyers, <laughs> but they're still gonna remain listed. And it's interesting because we both, both of us, me or us and the other buyers, we came in at asking, ours with contingencies, the other people without. And even going in at asking without contingencies wasn't enough for them they must be looking for way more than what they listed their house at. So that is also a no, sadly. But we've been speaking with our realtor and he has a better idea of what we're looking for. And so if houses like that come back on the market, then he is happy to show it to us. Um, I did promise that I will go into more into the why as to why Kayla and I want to or are considering leaving this beautiful lake house. Um, I don't think I'll go into it just yet, but we have lots of time. We have the whole weekend. I think I just got a text from my realtor. What did he say? Okay. So we actually have, I think at least, we have quite a few properties lined up to, to view with our realtor. We're not gonna be doing it this weekend, obviously. We're gonna be away, but we're gonna do some of that the following weekend into next week. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on and it's a really hot day. It's gonna be a really hot weekend. So another perfect reason to go out and see um, the mountains, which is where we're going to be going closer to for this trip. And I can't wait to show you guys everything. And of course, because we are going to be bringing so many electronics with us, we definitely need to bring our handy travel charger by Munbin. This one has three ports and also a USB port if we need that, which is really handy for travel. It's really compact, so I just have to wrap up the cord, throw it into my suitcase, and we've got power. <laughs> hey, Gibbs. It's a hot day, huh? Huh, boy? I should probably be using a proper camera bag for this, but backpack will do. We'll have to do for now. Hey, getting ready? Just filming bits and pieces here. Oh, extra toothbrush. I had one in my backpack this whole time. <laughs> I swore I had an extra toothbrush. I swore I did.
Hey guys, so we have made it to the cabin and this place is absolutely beautiful. It's just one big room, pretty much. Our bed and the kitchen and the living room are all in one big space, but it works really, really well. You can see our luggage is back there, but the views from the balcony are just scenic. When Kayla and I got in last night, all we did was just soak it in. <laughs> we didn't do any work. We just sat and really enjoyed the peace and quiet and that gorgeous view from outside. What's that river out there, Kale? Do you? Skykomish River. This property is on the Skykomish River and it's just the most beautiful setting I've ever seen. It's like out of a storybook. So the plan for today, I've already done a few, but is to take some product photos. I, I did a shoot, a little mini shoot with Kale helping me out. And then we're going to take a hike to some waterfalls, which will take you along with us for that. And yeah, just really enjoy this beautiful area. This is Gold Bar Index, or is it Index or Gold Bar? It could be interchangeable. Yeah, I don't know where the borderline is. It's all pretty close to one another. Yeah, this whole area is gorgeous. Kayla and I set out for this hike to Wallace Falls with my products in tow and I was really excited to get some incredible forest scenes and waterfalls as a backdrop for my soaps and body butters. However, when we got there, we saw that this state park was super busy and I quickly realized that taking product photography on this hike was going to be difficult. As an introvert, I'm not very comfortable with drawing attention to myself in public, so I just couldn't bring myself to do what we planned. Instead, I let go of that plan and just decided to take some footage of our hike and some scenic videos that I will use for my soap business, but not the product photography that I initially wanted to do. And as I hiked, I could feel the weight of my disappointment that I couldn't do everything that I planned to, but eventually, I realized that I was surrounded by the stunning beauty of the forest. Slowly, I let go of that feeling and began to embrace and enjoy the hike for what it was. Letting go of things can be incredibly difficult, especially if you've invested time, money, and effort into something. Sticking with a plan, even if it's not serving you, is called the sunk cost fallacy, where you continue with a decision not necessarily because it makes sense now, but because you've spent so much money and energy into that decision that letting go would seem wasteful. The older I get, the more I realize just how short life is. Staying in a situation or sticking with a decision that causes you stress or affects your mental health costs so much more than the money you've put into that decision. And the sooner you let go of those things that are no longer serving you, the faster you can embark on a new journey that can take you to some amazing places. Hey guys, Kayla and I are back from our big hike and I actually did bring my products with every intention of taking product photography in the beautiful falls and forest that we visited, but that state park was actually quite popular. And even though we visited it in a weekend that was not Labor Day weekend or we falsely assumed that it wouldn't be as populated as it was there were people everywhere <laughs> and while I could have you know ignored the people and have taken my product pictures regardless I felt really self-conscious um, I think I just need to work on that a little bit more but yeah it's been an amazing getaway we are leaving tomorrow I don't know how many photos I'll get done tomorrow because we have to leave check out of this place by 11 a.m. But I think on our way out, on our way back to town, Kayla and I are gonna look at a few more things and maybe visit another trail somewhere. I don't know. The trail that we walked today was absolutely gorgeous. There were these beautiful waterfalls. And even though it was a pretty steep ascent to the top to see the waterfalls, 
it was worth it, even though there were certain points where I felt like quitting and turning around. I'm so glad that I pushed myself and got to the top. <laughs> but I wanted to take this moment to quickly talk about why Kale and I are moving or thinking of moving in the first place. And thank you so much for all of the comments, by the way, everyone who took the time to leave a really thoughtful comment saying that you understand, that you support us, that you're rooting for us. Thank you guys so, so much. It's a small gesture, but it means so much to me knowing that the people that watch me just support me and, and get it. They know that I'm making good decisions for myself. But one of the big things that we realized after living at the lake house for a year and a half is that it's really, really isolated out there. Kale's commute is really long and we're really far from his friends, my friends and his family. It's really tough for us to do errands because there's so much driving involved. So there's that. And our goal has always been to move as close as we possibly can to Kale's family. And we weren't able to quite do that this time around. So with interest rates falling and with Kale's family being in, in such a great neighborhood, our fear is that it'll get to a point where we won't be able to get there at all. So there's this really weird sweet spot right now where interest rates are still quite high. Um, the market isn't as competitive for buyers as it possibly could be in the future. So if we could get our property in that neighborhood now, it would be pretty neat. But with that being said, Kale and I aren't desperate to move. We're just looking. And if we can make this happen with the parameters and the boundaries that we've set, then we will do that. But if it's too much of a stretch, we definitely won't. And we're not in a terrible place if we don't. You guys know it, I know it, that my lake house is a beautiful place to live. And another thing about it that we've noticed after being there for a year and a half is that the land itself is, is pretty small. It's perfect for what we're doing right now. It's, it's plenty of space, but something that Kale and I think about doing sometimes is starting a little hobby farm with chickens and maybe goats. Kale really wants to do sheep at some point. We can't do that right now in our current property because it's small, like I mentioned, it's on a slope and yeah, it just, it wouldn't be possible. So if we could get a property that allows us to do that and be close to Kale's family and to his job and to, you know, just a, a place where we can be, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe, but yeah, it's not, not on a whim. And we're excited to look at more houses on Monday. We're gonna go see a few more contenders one thing that I have realized coming out here is that it's absolutely worth it if you can to take a break when things are getting a little much and things aren't getting too crazy for me. It's still very, very manageable, but I don't want to get to a point where I have to take a break or else I'm, you know, I'm not going to be able to do anything. So it's nice to take breaks as a preventative measure before I get too overwhelmed and I know with Christmas coming that might be the case with my most recent launch thank you so much to everyone who supported me on that end who bought products it's always amazing to me to see you guys come out and show up in that way and I put so much love into what I make and I'm really glad to see names come up again and again and the repeat buyers that support me thank you so so much the shower seamers went really fast i'm actually quite surprised so i will definitely make more i won't be able to make any more autumn air ones because i've i'm out of cinnamon essential oil but i do plan on making more winter themed shower seamers like a i think someone wanted a eucalyptus mint or um, maybe like a candy cane type of scent it's always going to be on the minty end of things because I do like a strong shower steamer that does help clear sinuses. As you guys know this cabin is on the river and it looks like somebody is naked walking up and down it but my eyes aren't that great so maybe they're just wearing flesh colored underwear or a flesh colored bathing suit but good on them. <laughs> if you're gonna do that kind of thing at a river this is probably a good place to do it because it's pretty remote out here. 
Kale has come here multiple times with his family to go camping and he loves the area so it was nice for him to come back and it was really sweet of him to tell me all the stories of him walking that same trail that we walked today with his dad and siblings and family. It's just really, really nice. So we are leaving today this gorgeous cabin and you know what a weekend was just about enough time for me to do everything that I set out to do by booking this cabin for my product photos. We will miss this beautiful river and Kayla and I really do think we'll be back if not to this exact cabin but also to this town which we loved and everything about it. Look at that mountain in the distance. Gorgeous. There's so many things to see out here and I don't think we saw everything. So that's just incredible. But we are on our way back now and yeah, back to reality. I have packages to ship out. I have things to make. So yeah, goodbye beautiful river. Hey guys, it's been a few days since I've launched my fall products and it went so well. I have been really busy trying to get all of the packages out the door and I'm trying to stay on top of it, which is why other things in my other commitments have started to fall by the wayside a little bit. I wanted to have a new recipe available today for you guys, but when it comes to my soap business, whenever I release something, the volume of orders obviously spikes up and it is a lot. <laughs> and it's hard to really get everything that I need to get done. It's getting to a point where I need to start deciding where I want to put my commitment. And I've mentioned this before, it's getting harder and harder to, to decide where uh, I want to completely focus on because I feel like trying to spread myself so thin is just not good in general for any of the directions that I want to go in. It's so weird how sometimes I really want to go all in on my soap business and be a soap business owner and sell soaps. But then a part of me also loves content creation. And then another part of me really loves uh, teaching and sharing with you guys everything that, I, that I'm learning myself and spreading that knowledge so that we could all grow together. There's these different buckets and as much as I want to fill each one because I'm trying to fill them all, each one is just kind of like half full. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be able to fill up one to the fullest and the other ones are just like this. So yeah, uh, I think in general, something that I want to try doing is just scaling back everything. I think that's the thing that has helped me the most in all of the years I've been doing these things. Ever since I started content creation, ever since I started a soap business, the thing that has helped with my mental health the most has just been scaling it all back and remembering that I'm a human and I'm an individual and to just stop worrying so much about working so hard it's okay to it's okay to step back a little bit even if that means not earning as much money or slowing things down in the business at least you're preserving yourself and it's sustainable so that you can continue to keep going <laughs> so that's been hard to remember but the launch went so well thank you so much i still have items available so please check them out in the description box down below but I was playing with the idea of doing a Christmas launch and now I, I don't know anymore if it's going to be as big as the fall launch. 
it's just so much work and it's not something that I don't want to turn my back on ever. I just think for now, uh, with us possibly moving, <laughs> I don't think it's smart to be making a ton of product and selling all that product and uh, needing that space in the studio downstairs for work if I am in the position where I have to be showing my home to sell it. So <laughs> that's all playing a role right now in in my decision making. <laughs> but the fall launch was so fun. It's my favorite time of year and these are my favorite products to make. So thank you so much for allowing me to share that with you guys and the idea and the thought of my treasures coming to you guys in the mail just fills my heart with so much joy. But I did want to talk a little bit about the homes that we saw uh, with our realtor the other day. We saw five homes and it was funny because there were a couple of homes that we were really excited to see and there was one that I almost crossed off the list because I didn't think it would take any of our boxes. I just kind of wrote it off. But then as we saw the houses, this house, the one that I was ready to write off, has now become the front runner <laughs> because I saw it and it just, oh, it's, it spoke to me. And I'm trying not to get excited because I did get excited about that hilltop house and that didn't turn out, you know, into anything. But sometimes I have to remind myself that even if you do get excited over something and you lose it, it's still okay. It's not the end of the world. It's what makes you feel alive as a human. So get excited if you want to, because it just might happen. So allow me guys to be excited <laughs> about this house, even if it doesn't pan out. But this home, let me grab my, my uh, photos that I took, my videos that I took to, to remind me, because sometimes these viewings can go by in a blur and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I actually look at? But when you drive up to this house, it's a, it's a bungalow, it's a rambler, not usually the, the style of house that I'm drawn to, but there was something about the way the house looked when you walked up to it. It had these beautiful plants that they planted in the front and it just looked really quaint and cute and that and very inviting. And I liked that about the house. We noticed that it had a garage off to the side, which is always good. The one reservation Kayla and I had about this house was the size, but as soon as you walk in, you could see that the space was well appointed and that's so important in a house. I'd rather live in a smaller house with smaller square footage, but the space that's given is well appointed and makes sense and flows than a big house where there's space that's wasted because you don't know what to do with it. This house had really great flow and um, a perfect spot for soaping and for my small business. It's not gonna be the big studio that's downstairs. It actually might be a similar size. We have to measure it to be sure. It's like a little bit smaller maybe, but it's more than adequate room to do my soaping thing and to be able to operate my small business out of the rooms that this house has for that. And these rooms abut the garage, which makes it even perfect because I could use the garage space for more storage and other small business related stuff. So that was a big plus. But the living space of the house, the house that Kayla and I would just use every day, they were great. We have a big open kitchen with, a, with the living room that's right there. And then a wing of the house for the bedrooms, Kayla's office and um, the bathrooms. So that, that was great. And one thing that I'm realizing the older that I get, sometimes a big house is just a lot of a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of rooms to clean. It's a lot of rooms to furnish. It's just, and it's hard to keep the house warm sometimes because it's, it's so big. So the idea of a smaller home, actually that house is, the square footage is very similar to the square footage here, but um, I just think that I'm, I'm entering an era in my life where I'd rather a smaller, cozier space rather than a big, expansive, you know, open space. It's kind of where I think my preferences are leaning these days, but the house was built in the seventies, but they updated it. So we wouldn't have to do anything to the house to be able to live in there comfortably. There's AC in the house and heating. So that's awesome. But the thing about this property that wowed us the most was the outside of it. This house is on a little over two acres. So that gives us plenty of space to do some of the things that Kill and I have been talking about 
that have been we have been interested in trying but we couldn't do in a house like this where it's pretty small lot and also HOA and you know all that stuff with this property we'll have land to be able to try hobby farming maybe build an orchard or even a soap studio space down the line if I wanted to there's room for that which is amazing but one of my favorite things about this property was the enclosed garden and greenhouse that the current owners of this house have built and it's something that I've always wanted but can never figure out how I would do that and obviously if I put my mind to it I could do it but it's just one of those things where you wish you, so you could just move into a place that has it already so this place has it already so there is a lot of possibility with this home it's within our budget it's in the same area that Kale's family is in so that is a huge huge plus it's a big reason why we were thinking of moving because where we live right now is so far from everything and while the view of the lake is gorgeous and relaxing and you can't beat the view I think we're learning that being close to family and the convenience of being able to have a very short commute outweighs these benefits, at least in this stage of our lives. And we know that everyone has preferences, but after a lot of thought and after living here for a year, I, I think we're, we're pretty decided on where we want our future to go and the type of people that Kayla and I are, which is important. I think it's good to sit down and really think about what, what do you want? And if there is something that is missing in your life or there's something that you want to pursue why not go after it if you can if you have the means to so that's where we're gonna try and maybe it'll work out maybe it won't and if it doesn't we're still here in this beautiful lake house but fingers crossed we see it again we're gonna do a second viewing tomorrow and I I'm pretty sure it's gonna go well and we'll see after that we'll We'll go into the process and hopefully we'll have a next new chapter in that home. And if not in that home, we'll find something else. And that's what I've noticed about house hunting here. If you miss out on a property for whatever reason, new ones pop up all the time. So yeah, we're, we're not going to be too, too disappointed if it doesn't pan out. But if it does, wow, that'll be, it'll be a lot of fun, I think. <laughs> But that is the video today. I'm sorry I didn't have a new formulation that I could share with you guys. There's just so much going on. And I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with four formulas a month. That's a lot of output. But I do plan on keeping up the four videos a week schedule and keeping you guys updated on what's going on with my business and my life, everything that comes along with it. As for the last video, thank you to everyone who left such a sweet and kind comment. So thank you. You guys are definitely my besties. So thank you for all of that support. And if you do want access to my formulas, there is a lot of them that you can find on my Patreon, which is linked down below. And, and speaking of Patreon, thank you to all of my patrons and anyone who decides to support me over there. You guys are so, so appreciated. Thank you so much, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. But that's the video for today. Thank you so much for stopping on by and joining me for my adventures. And if you liked what you saw, I really hope that you join me for the next video. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things. Bye guys.